Hey, it's Joe Moyer, founder and creator of GPSforlove.com. You know, I was recently having a conversation with one of the members of our GPS for Love community, and she was telling me about how everybody was giving her advice on what she should do in her love life. And I get that because when I was single, it was the same, same exact way. My friends were telling me what I should do. My family members were telling me. I even had my patients tell me what I should do. And I got tired of it because a lot of those individuals who were giving me advice weren't in position to do so. So, you know, one of the philosophies that, that I subscribe to in my life is I only take advice from someone who's more successful at something than I am. So if I'm trying to get, you know, more fit, I'm, I'm taking advice from someone who's more fit than I am. If I'm trying to take my business to the next level, I'm, I'm looking at someone who's more successful in their business. If I'm looking to become more spiritual, to create a deeper connection with God, I'm looking at someone who's got a deeper spiritual connection than I have. So it's, it's a simple philosophy that I, that I kind of subscribe to, and it's worked really well. But in talking to um, this member of our community, she was like really, really frustrated, and I totally get it. And then as we went deeper, she's like, you know, I know everybody means well, but it's not helping me. You know, the advice they're giving me, and sometimes I even follow it, it doesn't help me get the results that I want. Now, if you're new to this community, I'm all about getting results. Like, as I said, I don't want to waste time. I want to know the quickest way from point A to point B. And I understand not everything's going to go perfect. There'll be, you know, times where you deviate off the course, but I don't want to go way off course and then get to a place where like, now what do I do? I'm screwed. I want to go, okay, you know what? A little off course. What do I need to tweak? What do I need to learn? What do I need to discover to make the necessary changes to keep moving forward and ultimately get to the result that I'm looking for? And so, in talking to this woman, that's kind of where we were going in the conversation. And ultimately, I said, look, do you really want to figure out what's going on? And she's like, yeah. I said, well, I'm going to give you the best advice that I can ever give you. And it's whenever I work with clients, this is the first piece of advice that I give them. And I'm going to give it to you right now. Are you ready? Here we go. Take some mirror time. You know, if you're new to the community, you may never have heard me say that before. If you are been here for a while, you've heard me use that expression very often. So what mirror time is literally when you look in the mirror, you step out of your life, you take a good, honest look at yourself and the role that you have been playing in your life. So if you're talking about your love life, your relationships, you take a step back and you take that mirror time and you go, what role have I been playing in my relationships? What role have I been playing in my love life? You know, and one of the best ways to do that is look at your previous relationship or look at your previous relationships and ask yourself that question. What role may I have been playing? Now, let me emphasize and say that taking responsibility, taking mirror time, doesn't mean that you look to beat yourself up. It doesn't mean that you blame yourself. You know, I believe in life, you got to give yourself permission to suck. Like none of us got an instruction manual and a rule book. And, you know, some of us had parents who loved us, who treated us well, but they didn't get an instruction manual and they did the best that they could. And sometimes their best <laughs> didn't really work for us. So we go through this thing called life and, and we create these filters, we create these beliefs, we create these experiences that affect us and affect our ability to make the choices and decisions that create results in our life. So... Taking mirror time doesn't mean beating yourself up. It simply means looking and observing at the role you may have played. Because this is why I advise you to do that. When you don't, and you look at a previous relationship, and you say, you know what, that person did this to me. What you're doing is you're giving them the power. Now, let me say, that doesn't take somebody off the hook for what they may have done. So if you have someone who cheated on you, who lied to you, who portrayed themselves to be a certain way in the beginning, and then revealed that they were somebody completely different, or somebody who physically or ver verbally abused you, whatever it may be, it doesn't take them off the hook. And what I've learned in my journey is there's something called karma. So what goes around comes around, and I don't have to worry about like getting you back because the universe is gonna kinda take care of that for me. And But when you take responsibility, you now take your power back. So let me give you an example. When I was in my relationship with my ex, um, she wasn't honest. Let, you know, I'll put it nicely. She wasn't honest. And there was a part of me that felt betrayed, felt angry. 
and was pissed. But then I realized, you know what? I can sit here and blame her and, and ride the victim card the rest of my life and, and get angry and not trust anybody else. Or I took that mirror time and I was like, what role did I play in that relationship? What role did I play in what I got to experience? And when I did that and I got real with myself, I took that mirror time and I said, you know what? I ignored the red flags. You know what? I ignored my intuition. I ignored my gut. I ignore all the signs the universe was giving me saying, get out. But I stayed for my reasons. And by taking that mirror time, I looked at, I stayed in the relationship for the wrong reasons. And I also saw that she stayed in the relationship for the wrong reasons. We were two people who were good people. We just weren't good for each other. And we weren't honest enough to admit the truth to ourselves and then to our partner. And so taking that mirror time is going to be really valuable. It's going to help you get to the truth of why you're struggling. Now, here's the deal. You can, you can sit and go, you know what? It's not my fault. He did this to me. He was a narcissist. He was a jerk. He was this. He was that. And again, it doesn't take him off the hook. It doesn't say that all of that may not be true. But that's giving that person the power for your happiness. And you're not going to go forward. Or you can say, why did I continue to stay with that narcissist? What was it about me that chose, caused me to ignore the red flags? Or was I missing the red flags? Were they there, but I was missing them? See, that's the beauty of, mis of mirror time. It really helps you see what was really going on. Because in life, we make a, we kind of fall in love with the illusion, the misperception of how thing, how we think things are instead of seeing the truth of how they really were. And that's the purpose of mirror time. It just helps you like get cut right through all the bullshit and helps you see the truth of what's really going on and the role you may have played. Because if you don't learn the role you may have played, you're not going to be able to make the changes. So I'm going to give you a little assignment. I want you to take that mirror time. I want you to step out of your life as an observer and look at the past, whatever it is that you're struggling with, and go, what role may I have played? And then get real, get honest with yourself. And you're going to notice what role that you may, you may have played and how you contributed to things working out the way they did. Now, again, that's not to beat yourself up. What you then want to do with that is, okay, what can I learn from this? What do I need to do differently going forward? Or you might notice, you know what, I've got a pattern. And I don't understand why this pattern exists. And so I need someone to help me break this pattern because this pattern has been going on a while. Even if that's what you get out of mirror time, it's going to be beneficial because it's going to help you find the solutions, find the support to help you overcome the challenges. Because sometimes in life, we're just too close to our own shit like, to get past it or get through it. So that's what I'm going to suggest to you today. All right. So I want you to go do that. I want you to go take that mirror time. Now, if you like this video and it really resonates with you and, it, and you found it helpful, what I want you to do is go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any specific questions about mirror time, about taking responsibility, something you may have learned that now you have a question, now you need more support, what I want you to do is go ahead and post it below this video and I'll do my best to support you. Sounds good. I'll see you in the next video. Have an amazing day. Much love. If you're at that point in your life where you're tired of being single, you want to find that one special guy to share your life with, and you can't understand why you're having such a hard time finding him, I'd like to invite you to join our free Facebook group. It's a private group where women just like you are discovering the truth of what it really takes to attract a quality man and a love that lasts. You're going to learn how to identify the real obstacles, especially those that are unconscious, which are preventing you from finding the love that you're looking for. And you're also going to learn how you can turn your love life around, date successfully, and put yourself in position to find the type of man that your heart desires and deserves. Now, if that's something that sounds interesting to you, you can go to facebook.com slash groups slash find love that lasts. Or you can click on the link below in the description of this video. I'll see you there.